Today we're going to have another look at the at a couple of issues related related to the CRM stuff, namely the quick captions to add and remove contacts from an issue. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we already took a look at this, implementing the backend changes to have the informations uh, about where the state of each contact, uh, so if it's active or inactive, and also um, now we know if a contact is, is already present on an issue, so we can filter them by their state, uh, so we don't show inactive contacts on the add uh, CRM contacts quick actions, and we only show the already present contacts on the remove contacts quick actions. So uh, let me share my screen. There's going to be a little bit of inception. Here we go, like this. Why is it not showing? Why? Let's try again. Oh, I can't change. Mm. Oh, the stream is not working. I'll try to refresh the page for this. Oh, here we go. No, yes. Yes, it's working. OK. So uh, this was the original MR that I started working even before we had the session a couple of weeks ago. And I wanted to do all, I only considered the ad contacts uh, quick action, and I wanted to do some filtering on the back end. But uh, like we discovered while working on uh, on the other MR a couple of weeks ago, I we can't do that. Instead, it's better to provide the information and do the filtering and stuff on the front end. So this is now also quite far behind master. And so we're going to start from there. Let me check it's working. Yes. And uh, we're going to go from there. We're going to update the branch and resolve conflicts because we're going to have some conflicts and go from there. So. Uh, branch with master oh, no conflicts kind of black push the updated branch so we are not that far behind okay and now we can actually go back and see what changes I already did and basically sc scrap them all and start from scratch. And complete service line 156. And this one, yes. And this is good because that's that was done on the yeah. 
Is this really updated? Mm, I guess my master doesn't have the changes yet. Let's check. Yeah, definitely. We also have the rebase with the actual master from GitLab. So a little bit more. Problematic, but not that much. So fetch the upstream. back to master with the upstream master. Yeah, we were quite far behind. Uh, let's push this one up and do a GDK update so that we apply all migrations and all of the fun stuff. Hoping it won't take too long. This is like watching the grass grow. Oh, and it's also building Italy. Yeah, there's me waiting.
should be almost done. Okay. And running, but let's do a GDK restart just in case. changes that I was doing. So let's undo the changes to structure.sql because those were generated by the migrations. And let's do my stash one again. OK. Now. Uh, yes, we do have the changes because now the contacts and point returns the state and also a value to indicate if um, a contact is already present or not on an issue. Let's check the GDK is running. Maybe one day it will load. Okay. We are good. Mm. 
we could go to let's open a new issue. Perfect. Uh, now let's check the CRM is enabled, and we do have two inactive contacts, which is which are Christine Abshar and Herman Boyer. If we try to do remove. Oh, we don't have contacts added, so the remove won't work. Add contacts, Chrisin Hampshire, Herman Boyer are visible because we are still on master. We have to go back to the branch we were working on. And update with master. And we will now have some conflicts, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Contacts is where my change is that we can skip altogether and keep the ones from master. So this way. Okay, base in and we are good. Now push this once again and let me check. Yeah. Okay. And now we can actually start to do what we have to. So nothing to do on the front end side. Instead, we should revert some changes. This one we just did because we gener this generated a conflict. Uh, these are some documentation changes. And these two are actually good from master. So OK, we are ready to do the front end changes that I don't remember. Uh, if I remember correctly. Uh, Do have this one? I remember. <laughs> Hi, Andrew. So oh, let's uh, check because I remember I should already have some. <laughs> uh... No, we don't. So we are going to have to do all the changes once again. Okay. Last time we 
took a look at how labels are done. And let's do it once again. Hi, Andrew. Can you hear me? Hello, Marco. Hi. How's it going? Hello. Okay. Can you hear me? Andrew? Oh. Hello? Hello? Can you, huh? can you hear me? Oh boy. Was I muted the old time? Hello, there we go. Is it working now? It is, yes. That was all my fault. Okay, no, I, I was worried about that. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Oh, I'd muted my Chrome tab, and then I could hear you on Twitch, but I couldn't hear you on here. I'll, yeah. Okay, so that's okay. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> um, okay. How's this going? It's going pretty good. I just stared at my screen for 10 minutes watching GDK update. <laughs> so sorry stream for that. And do you remember the contacts, CRM contacts stuff that we worked on a couple of weeks ago? I do remember, yes. Okay. Um, I lost all the front end changes, so I'm making them once again. Oh really? Oh that's nice. Yeah. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long, but and uh, do you want to share a VS Code session and I can? Oh yeah, jump sure. In? Let me share. I'm just getting my virtual machine started as well. Why? Here. Oh, uh, why is it? It keeps asking. Me. Oh, because I chose the wrong account. <laughs> Yeah, because we just copied the yeah setup labels thing, didn't we? And then just changed. Why? Some other. Uh... We need instant blur things, don't we? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Oh yeah, I just I'll just watch your stream. <laughs> okay, you should. Oh yeah, if I don't send you. There we go. Hello, then it is was Where you were able to join? Um, yeah, it's still synchronizing, I think. Okay. Um, 
Because I could see an old version of that autocomplete file. Yeah. Well, I see your cursor. Nice. Yeah, mine still says label command. No. Oh, there we go. Way there we go. It's catching up now. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Uh, so, um, yeah, it's annoying to do these changes again. But I guess I don't have any other way to do this. Yeah, I don't think we ended up changing too much, though, did we? No, we only we had. Yeah, the filter and the matcher functions. We yeah, did. that I pasted into the wrong place, I remember now. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I'm mapping the contacts. Oh, yeah, that was for the template, was it? I can't remember now. Yeah. Ooh, no. Contacts and remove. I don't think we had any of this stuff, did we? No, no, we didn't. Uh, how did this It's not dirty. Can you close the Can you get my hat? Hang on, but you're going to be on the live stream. Everyone can see you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sharing the screen, no one will see. Well, mostly no one. Yeah, do we know if anyone watches this yet? Uh, you were watching it? <laughs> do I count? Uh, well, we have... On Twitch, We it says one viewer, but I don't actually know. I think that's me. I think I've still got you open. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, so I can cut that's removed. And then it's, yeah. Did you have it as set or did you call it something different for this one? No, it's still set. Um, no, I don't think we want stay active. This is filtering for when you're adding a contact, isn't it? Yeah. So we so, want to have only the active contacts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. Active and set. And, and not set. Yeah. Active, not set. Uh, well, I, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because you only want to add people, yeah, people who are active who haven't already been added to the thing. So, like this. And we should. Yeah. Um, and I need the measurements of our vegetables. Oh, so yeah. Just one second. Um, return contacts, um, regal, return contacts that are active and not already on the issue. Yep. Issuable, maybe, if we want to generalize. Yeah, is it only issuables or is it, um, is it only for, issues, or can you also add contacts to epics and merge requests? For now, only issues. I I'm don't say know. issues. Yeah. yeah, OK. Where is this instance being used? OK, we don't need this. I guess we should be good to go. Um, did you add the 
Do we have a template down at the bottom for it? Yeah, we do. Contact autocomplete dot contacts. Yeah. Here you are. Yeah, that was already present. So let's see if this works. And so finger crossed. So have all the backend changes for this gone in now then? Oh yeah, the backend changes went live, should be uh, yeah, it should be, should be released with this next milestone. Fantastic. Yeah, they should actually already be live on the nightly build. Mm. Uh, so yeah, we, I don't see uh, Christine Abshire. Christine, please. Yeah, we don't have that. So, Christine. is that rendering incorrectly? Mm, no. Why? Uh, if you do the other quick action, um, like a sign, I guess. Oh, wait, no, contacts don't have avatar icons, do they? Oh, no, they don't. I was expecting an avatar icon at the side and then the information. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, let's try with also another one. Oh, oh, my God. Okay. Okay, this worked. And if we do remove contacts, we only have you. Go. Awesome. If you do add contact again, can you oh, see Gail yeah. there? No. Nope. Yeah. This is working perfectly. OK, so now. And if you yeah. do add contact somebody, like I can't. Um, no, I mean, like, I, I don't know. Like, actually select somebody. OK. Uh, <laughs> Do you want me to add another contact? Uh, yeah, just for now. And then do slash remove contacts in the same quick action. Oh, now we, I don't think we're going to. Yeah, we don't yeah. have that. No, um, that's that's right. That's what it should do. Yeah, that's that makes sense. We, we actually didn't add that. Uh, so just to make sure. Yeah, this is working. Nice. Uh, so, 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 basically, we have this changes. <coughs> and actually, we should be good to go like this. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in this that we need to correct for typos? Yes, we do. If you have a look at the match, we still say. Check if tilde is followed by label, relabel or unlabel. Oh, yeah, um, you're absolutely right. So I don't actually know what this is doing. This is just copied from the label one. Yeah, I guess this is checking the. Oh, it's checking if tilde is followed by. Oh, okay. Why followed by? It should be labeled then tilde. Mm. Subtext dot split on a number of new lines. Oh, split. oh gosh. Do you want to put a debug in here and so we can work out what subtext is and what the regex subtext is? Absolutely. And then we can work out what command is actually trying to look for. Yeah. So subtext is the whole line, I guess. Mm -hmm. And subtext nodes are, oh, I guess it's splitting on, it is splitting on new lines. 
and then regex subtext. What is that? Uh, I think this is splitting all the new lines and then splitting each line into a uh, single word separated by white spaces. What was pop again? Does that remove the last one it's, off the array? Yeah. Mm, yes, but why? I guess that if we do something like Uh, like John have the debugger. Uh, then how can I test this? Uh, can you just put the debug statement in uh, Firefox? I don't know. I never tried. Uh, you can just put on the line number. Can't you just click a? Yeah. Yeah. If this is loading, yes, we do have that. So if I do this. We now have subtext. Yeah, it, it does have a, a slash n and then subtext nodes. Oh boy. Oh no, it's taking the last one. Because subtext nodes in this case is empty. So I wonder if we do this. This is working. How? Add contact. Okay. Add contact. Add contact. And now this. Mm, remove contact. Yeah, it's taking the last element of the, basically the last string. in this case but if we do this it only has a contact i don't know how this is working yeah i'm not sure why it says check if tilde is followed by because it's clearly not doing any check for a tilde within that is there is no it? no it's not I guess we can change this with check. Yes, this sh that should do. I'm just checking other uses of the matcher, and they're not doing anything like that either. Oh, yeah. But they are also not checking which command is being used. Or maybe they do. The Actually, I've just got to the um, at uh, set, up, set up members. Um, assign yeah, and you... assign reviewer. They do have something kind of similar. 
Yes. But even here, I don't actually know what they are doing. Because yeah, all it's doing is setting the command for the filter, isn't it? So we know what command is being run. Yeah. Because I guess this will, because the client will return the first element that matches yeah, basically, that's not null. I don't really mm -hmm. know why they're doing the split and the pop, because split is surely splitting every line. Yeah, it's so, so they just get one element from that split. So like you were saying, I think it's just getting the very last line. Yes, but then it doesn't make sense because if that's what they are doing, in this case, even if I open the add contacts uh, suggestions, the last line should be remove contacts. But hmm. the difference that I see is that on add contacts, the subtext is add contacts, uh, basically the first line. While when we are on remove contacts, we have both lines. So yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how subtext gets here. I'm guessing subtext works out everything from where your cursor is at backwards, kind of thing. Yeah, that might be. If that's true, uh, I guess this one. No, this is not opening the the suggestions. Yeah, that'll be because the trigger word is open square bracket contact oh, colon. Yeah, I I actually yeah, that's definitely getting the old text up to the cursor because now I clicked on it on the mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so definitely Why? that's that's what they are doing. Mm. But I still don't get why check if at is followed by. Because that should be the opposite. That's strange, but I guess we can live. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think your comment makes sense, though. Yeah, check if we have add contacts or remove contacts command. Yeah. OK, then I guess we should be good to go, because tests, there aren't, there aren't tests for this file, I think. No other mentions of label there, is there, I'm guessing? Oh, we do have. No explicit test for how things should get. Uh, label. Label. Labels. Oh, yes, they do actually. Oh. Uh, and I thought that I could skip from writing tests for once. <laughs> oh, let, excuse me a minute. I have to take a call.
Hi, Andrew. I'm back. Hello. I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Mm. Hello? Hello? Uh. Oh, I need the <laughs> computer. <laughs> Wasn't my fault this time. No, it was my fault. <laughs> it's, it was strange that not even the notification was making any sound. OK. So yeah, we have to make write some tests. And I think we could. We could, we could. Gosh, they do a lot of testing for this, don't they? Well, uh, do they? Mm, well, it looks that. like I do quite like the label one because that's very similar to what I think we'd have to do. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks like they test each of the commands, each with a different set of initial um, labels, and then yes. expect some kind of output. Yes. So and again, we can probably copy paste most of that. Kind of, yes, because I see there's already some tests for contacts, but it's only for a template function. And I guess, yeah. <sighs> I hate writing tests. But you get the joy of knowing your code is working all the time. When you write the right tests and you write them wrong so they are broken. <laughs> um, can you fold, fold code in VS Code anymore? Yes. OK, I can't do that for some reason. Oh, maybe that's the live share. Maybe. that I keep clicking that plus icon and it's to start a discussion, which is not what I want. It oh, should, have, should have a collapse and expand button on the right. Yeah. Of the that's what I was hoping for, but definitely not there. Oh boy, oh boy, how do we write? I guess I can actually do some copy and paste. And then go from there. Also, I wonder why in this contacts is uppercase. Escape, escape, uh, and that's already done. So we're just missing the all the other stuff. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Uh, we need a contacts fixture, apparently. Yes, and I'm oh test fixture. What is this? And fixtures are being generated. I am not sure. Because I don't even have that file. Spec fixtures. Best fixtures. Where are they? Uh, contacts. Try to do. 
Peaks. All looks like boilerplate stuff. Oh, God. those files the if I run this test is it working oh the fixtures yeah I wonder if I comment this out and I run this back uh yeah i don't have the files Do we have to generate? Oh. I have to generate the front end fixtures, but this is going to take forever. I did this the other day and it took almost 10 minutes. 15 mm, minutes. That's kind of annoying. Yes. Moreover, I'm out of time for today. Oh. Spec I fixtures, guess. bulk and part. Yeah, that's really weird. I wonder why they're not just included. I don't know. I just launched the bin rake front end column fixtures, and mm -hmm. in 15 minutes, I'll have the file. <laughs> um, I've updated a bunch of the code, just find and replace, basically. Um, oh, I totally didn't hear anything because it was some connection issues. Can you please? Uh, yeah, I was just saying I have updated that code you copy pasted. Um, okay. And updated, updated some of it for use with contacts, but I mean, there's still a bunch that needs to be done. Yeah, it's yeah, sure. Find and replace. Yeah, and I also have to find a way to generate those context fixtures. Mm. Yeah, I also wonder why they didn't write this test to begin with. Oh, <laughs> it synced. Uh, live live share and it looked like you were writing at super fast. Oh gosh, yeah, it is like a minute. I'm trying to remember the syntax for all this stuff. I think that's right. Add contact, contact, remove contacts, contact should be empty array. Yeah, I think that needs to be that. I'm not sure. Yes. With some contacts with all contacts. Yeah. And then we have uh, uh, that. Um, that's what they were testing before because do you see they test they also include uh tilde mm -hmm. alone and that should show all the available labels for example. yeah yeah maybe that's what they meant but still it's followed the tilde is following the command mm -hmm. not the command following the tilde yeah
Well, I have a little time left, unfortunately. That's all right. Let's see how that goes when you fix just a finally finished building. Mm, yeah, I, I, I say yes, but I didn't really hear because I think oh. that gener <laughs> generating the fixtures. I don't know if it, if it's that or something else. I have some connection issues. So All right, well, also... let's leave it for the night then, <laughs> and we'll see how it goes next time. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I also will go now. Thanks a lot for joining and for the help. No worries. Fingers crossed yeah. it all works. Oh, yes, I really do hope so. And the stream is not working. My <laughs> God. <sighs> Why? Oops, seems like one of your stream is having connection issues. You wouldn't say. All right. Well, I will catch you on Discord then, Marco. Take okay. Care. Bye. And see you next yeah. time. Thanks to you. Bye, everyone. Bye.